Right guys, Mike and Aaron here with uh, Head Shake TV. Went out and got a couple of nice sea bass today. Mike got his very first. So I uh, thought we'd throw together a little video here in our uh, How to Fillet series and uh, show you how to fillet a white sea bass. So we'll get into it. White sea bass, not much different than filleting any other fish, just kind of on a bigger scale. A lot like filleting a big striper. I'm going to start right behind this pectoral fin, cut up into the head here. You can feel where the skull is, so you want to get kind of close to it. They do have large scales, so you kind of got to work through them. Get down to where you can feel that skeleton with your knife. Make a turn at the spine. And come down, follow the fins. Feeling with your knife the whole way down that skeleton. right down next to that nice fin as a guideline. All the way down into the tail here. Make it cut straight across. Turn the fish around. And you want to follow this line here. You don't want to cut too deep because you don't want to get into the gut cavity. back down to your center line here and you can kind of tell where the end of the gut cavity is right at this fin here and then you can start working down the, the spine again big stales you got to work through again spine bones are. Stay on your side of them. Get down here right to that spinal column. That thing's really raised up so you want to get to it and then start working over it. You get about halfway and then turn the fish around and work the other side. Continue this cut you already made. Working all the way in, just feeling those bones with your knife. All the way until you hit that raised spinal column again. And just kind of work yourself over the top of it. this point here there's a raised row of bones that goes straight up into the fillet so you kind of got to cut through them and try to maintain contact with that rib cage through to your other cut that you made from the other side all the way down the rib cage until you hit the skin you get the skin and you just cut through it. There you've got your fillet separated from your fish. Then we can skin her out and uh, I'll show you where those bones are. We can cut those out and maybe remove a little bit of the blood meat. On these big fillets I kind of like to start somewhere around the middle cut straight down, turn the knife, try to maintain a little contact with that skin underneath. Just kind of work it down. Don't be afraid to deep skin. A lot of this is just blood meat here, so I like to make a little slit here and I can get a hold of it. Work the other side. Keep my knife still and work the fillet. You got the skin loose. Got your two 
pieces here. A little bit of bone right here in the front that goes straight down into the fillet. Usually like to try and take those out. I'll follow this line here and just kind of maintain contact with those bones. Go all the way through. And then do the other side. And you can feel them, just kind of work them slowly out of there. So you get down through to your table. Now what you're left with is all boneless. Flip them over, see what we're left with. Any major blood meat, I'll just kind of shave it off just because it makes it look prettier. Their blood meat is nowhere near as pungent as like a tuna or a yellowtail, so I don't worry about getting it all off. Just kind of makes it look pretty. So there you have it. Boneless fillet of white sea bass. So there you have it guys. Boneless fillet, white sea bass. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. Follow the spine. It's base. It's the same thing on the other side. So uh, you know, once you get all that done, then uh, I'll show you how to get the uh, autoliths or stones out of their head. Um, kind of a collector's item. A lot of people like to save them, especially with these white sea bass that are so rare. All right, guys. Now you've seen how to fillet them. I'm going to show you a little little bonus uh, footage here. I'm going to show you how to get the stones out and uh, how to remove the collar, which is real good grilled. So first you want to separate the, the gills and the, that from the head. Just kind of work it around. You might need your knife in here. Just kind of work the back side of the gills right around the collars. Just kind of cut all this connective tissue loose. Nothing real scientific about it. Just follow it back in here along that base of the spine there. And if you turn them kind of on their side, cut through the rest of this meat here, get down to where the bone is. And if you're taking Lay a good strong knife and give it a couple of smacks. You cut through that bone and get that one side loose. Half of the collar there. Clean that up a little. Same thing on the other side. Right up against that bone. get through that bone those collars and get them cleaned up a little bit real good on the grill just eat that meat right off the bone and once you got those out of the way you want to kind of get the gills as far out of the way as you can keep cutting around that spine because that's where the stones are they're right in the spinal cord right in the base of the skull here so we want to really get those gills out of the way see what we're doing here and you can tell right here at the end of where the spine comes into the skull it kind of lumps out right here at the base of the skull and they're in two little chambers right inside there so you want to take your dikes and get right at the back side of that lump and give it a good cut through 
cut at the front side of it. Cut it there, kind of peel back and break it loose. And pop the top off. A little bit of bone still in the way. We're going to have to cut a little more. this point you can see you're inside that cavity and you can kind of see the two little white marks there that's your stones kind of dig around in there you might have to open up a little bigger hole pop them little buddies right out of there one. Oh, the other one fell in. Dump them out of there. There it goes. I'm a quick rinse. You can see how bright and shiny they are. They're actually bone, they're, they're very dense, like a tooth. So uh, it's uh, basically it's ivory. A lot of people like to keep them, souvenirs. I've seen people make jewelry out of them. But uh, I just like to keep them as a memento. Every sea bass I catch, I get them out of there and got something to, a little keepsake to look back on. So, so there you have it guys. How to fillet, how to get your little bonus goodies out of there and I uh, hope you will uh, stay tuned to head shake we got a lot more of these videos coming up how to's might even do some uh, cooking recipes for you so uh, we'll see you next time make sure and subscribe